What is going on YouTube? I hope you're all doing wonderful today, having a fantastic day. I'm going to try something a little different right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss what's going on through my mind as I go into this free-for-all match. People in this match were starting to camp, so I switch my gameplay style up midway and I pull the win. It seems like it's going to be a hopeless game, but I do manage to pull it off. We're playing free for all on terminal and the very beginning of the game, I kind of just feel it out. But right here, what I'm doing is I'm going to kind of feel out and see if people are near me. I tend to play with a lot of decoys. I like them. I don't know why. So I'm listening. I hear footsteps to my right. So I know somebody's in that corner. I heard a stun or something go out over here. There's footsteps to my left circling around. Decent shots. He hit me. Let's give it a try. Let's see if I can run this match. All right. That was that guy that was in the right that I was talking about in the beginning. So I know he's over here. Didn't know he was laying down in the corner. Starting to get a little frustrated at this point. It, it feels campy, but I'm going to keep going. Give it a shot. Killed by the same guy in that corner. Well, he took shots at me. That guy just got the last bullet. So right here, I get a little triggered. And I'm like, you know what? We can make this a slow game. So I pull up chat because I'm toxic like that once in a while. Now here's where I switched up my gameplay style. I spawned right here in a good spot. This is a great spot to hold down. You have just one door behind you that they can come through with the terminal, which makes a noise if they go through the metal detector, not thinking about it, and you'll hear it. But I also have access to this entire room and a little cutaway to my left where I can duck in if I need be. So now I'm gonna start switching things around. See, I'm checking this door. I see his name tag. Trigger discipline, people. Trigger discipline. Boop, boop, done. Check this door again. Throw down one of these. I love these proximity sensors or whatever they are, personal UAVs. Now I'm using that to keep an eye on my mini map to see if anybody's coming that direction. I'm still gonna check the door because they can spawn over there where I'm looking. See a guy popped up. I knew he was coming that way. Just before my radar broke, I could see him. I'm just constantly back and forth, checking this door, checking the front, checking this door, checking the front. I heard him shoot at me. He missed the shot. Aim is horrible. Accuracy doesn't have to be great. I knew this guy was going to push me because of the respawn system. Throw that down. That covers my left side. I'm dead. We're catching up now. We went from being down to now we're just one away from first place. So right now I decide I'm going to jump back in here. I just died over there. So what I'm gonna do, is sit right here. People don't ever really think about this spot very often. I should have reloaded, but I didn't. I'm gonna panic here in a second. You're gonna see what happens when I panic. One bullet plugged into him, crap. I missed his knife, I missed my hip fire. I lost that gunfight because I didn't reload. I hear his footsteps. It's just a quick swing. Melee weapons, even on mouse and keyboard, have aim assist. 
there's something called lunge, and what happens is if you're just in, in the general proximity of aiming at somebody, you will lunge to them and it's a one hit kill. So melee weapons admittedly are really easy to use. I'm just playing the camping game. That's what people wanted to do in the beginning. That's what I'm gonna do. I adapt my gameplay style based upon the map and based upon the people I'm playing against. This map, people tend to snipe. I mean, I never played this map back in its glory days, so I don't really know it. I just know this version of it. But I find that people either tend to snipe from that building right there in the center, or they stay on the plane and camp it out. Or they're in the little food court area. Those, those three spots are really hot spots, it seems like to me. Just walking back and forth, making sure that every like space is covered there's a window right there everybody seems to be in the other side of the map right now so i'm just wasting time to be honest i'm down three from first place i'm gonna pull it back I decide I'm sick of sitting here. It's time to move on. Bullets don't know where they came from. They were within close proximity. I'm assuming they went through a wall. I see this guy. Boop. Boom, look at this guy, standing right in the corner. This is what I mean. This is why at the beginning of the game I said, okay, if we want to camp, we can camp. Don't know how I knew he was there. I want to say I heard an audio cue. Again, we're back in this room, so we're just going to jump back and forth. Check the front, check the door. Check the front, check the door. Don't know how this guy let me get that off on him. I panicked and I hit my tab button. Reload, throw thermite, keep him at bay. Took one with me. That's fine. It's a good trade. This is another spot that people like to sit on this map. You're going to see, I'm going to check key points because they'll spawn from the terminals on the right or they'll come up these escalators or sit in the corner right there to my right. See? So when you're looking in this direction, you gotta be careful of the escalator head glitch because they'll sit right at the very top of the escalator so you can barely see because there's a little island of plant life in between. You see that thing right there to my left. They'll sit right there. I hear footsteps behind me. Wrong weapon, panic melee. Just laying down, reloading, throughout my little portable radar. Keep an eye on my right-hand side for my mini-map. This is all stuff that's going through my brain right now while I'm here. Now I'm in the lead. So now we're starting to pull it back. And right there, what happened is I killed the one dude, realized he was weak because I could hear gunfire from my left, and that's why I spun around and shot the other guy. His aim was just really bad, and he didn't finish me off quick enough. I don't. I did not see that sniper glint when I was playing. I was tunnel visioned on this room. And that guy missed me by a hair. <laughs> My favorite assassination in the game. <laughs> I get it off on him twice, though. It's kind of embarrassing. Watch. <laughs> the, <laughs> the other guy that was shooting at me, I don't know how he missed. This is where I start getting slapped a little bit at the end, and I'm like, all right, you know what? Fine, we'll pull out sniper. For the very last part of this, I used my sniper. Um, I'm not the best sniper. As you can tell, I missed that shot. 
Very close, though. Tried to no scope him right there. Guardian. Boom. One down. All right, we're at 28. Almost. Just grazed his head. A little 180. My mouse sensitivity is fairly low, so doing 360s, it takes a couple swipes. I was scanning. See this guy, get ahead of him, and headshot for the victory. Then, I'm humble. I tell him GG. Good game, guys. Right there. GG's, <laughs> man. And we call it that. And that, that was just an average free-for-all match for me. Two point three. The rest of the lobby wasn't terrible. One point four, uh, one point one, one point seven, and then the last half of the lobby was the lower part of it. But if you guys enjoyed this little breakdown, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Peace and love. I'll catch y'all later.